Hey everybody, this is J Mac with On the Snap. Um, I'm gonna try to do something a little bit different as I move into this particular shot. Um, now we're moving into bank shots, and I will be upfront and honest as I am not a very confident banker. Um, mostly I go off of feel. So this is shot number 27 and the 99 critical shots of pool. And I agree, bank shots are critical. Where I have my challenges are that every table is a little bit different. Every rail acts a little bit differently. Um, pockets are basically the same size. On many tables, uh, angles are pretty much gonna be the same on any table. And I trust my, my vision better than I do banking. Um, but according to this particular book, it's a very well-regarded book, uh, his theory on single rail banks uh, is that you can find the point to where you need to hit on the rail and I'm going to mark my rail with the chalk and then after I set this up then I'll, I'll stroke it and we'll find out what happens. But what he's saying is you look at the distance between the rail and the object ball, so you know that, that angle there. And we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. You also need to know the angle of the opposite side pocket that you're ain't wanting to go in. So now we know where this is going to go and that it's going to go in here. Across the, you're going to be using this line as a reference point. So what he says to do, sorry if I'm making anybody sick, is go straight across the rail into uh, the, the nook at the rail. Bring it over to the side pocket that you're wanting to go into. And remember, I'm gonna take my hand off the uh, off the cue, which is a no-no in a real game. You're gonna be looking down this line on the uh, on the object ball, and where the cue hits that line, so right here, and then go straight back into the rail. So I pretty much already have a mark there. So we'll put we'll put a little chalk mark there. So that is where he is saying. Not that you can see that. Um, that is where he was, is saying that I would hit the object ball into this point to be able to make it into the side pocket. I am certain I'm going to miss. Everybody has always told me hey, you need to be more confident. Okay, fine. I'm confident I'm going to miss. So we'll line it up. Uh, pocket is right there. So hopefully if this works out, you'll, uh, you'll see it go in. So I mark my shot there, aim at it, don't drill it. The harder you hit it, it's going to come short, the softer you hit it, it'll go long. So I'm just going to hit it with normal pace. And I missed, as I expected I would. That's where, where my struggles with banking comes in, is I have zero confidence in banking. That's something I've got to work on. So. Line it up there, there, it goes there. Still about that same spot. That one I probably hit a little soft, so sign it up. Line it up, not sign it up. Now I'm much short. So, again, one of my frustrations. Not anything that I'm surprised about, but I'm just telling you what his, the way that this gentleman says is the way to learn to bank. I made one finally. It only took me three shots to make one. Let's see if I can make two in a row and then we'll call it a day. I'll do my lining up, put the light in the way. Lining it up there, lining it up there, so you guys here, so it should be, where I'm at, should be about right there. Huh? Dang it, almost, you almost heard me die on, on camera. Uh, and I'm coming up short. So anyway, that's, uh, that's how he says this is to do. Uh, I definitely will take some advice on what he thinks. Uh, most of my banking comes strictly by feel. Uh, it looks right. I've been playing for a long time, so it looks right. And if I have the right pace, I can generally make it if I have to, but I don't, I don't like to have to try those. So, yeah, this is J-Mac with On The Snap. I'm out.